Hello and welcome. Hello, Rifters. I'm uh, Simatic Bruce, uh, head of developer and community relations here at Altspace VR. And we are in the offices of Altspace VR in Redwood we are City. Here in Redwood City, doing it up. To boil it down, Altspace is to have some space where multiple people can gather in virtual reality. Uh, and in that space, they're able to access content uh, mainly from the web. Um, so that could be you know, consuming media, playing web you know, browser-based games, uh, anything that you can do on the web uh, and want to be able to do virtually in alt space. And then making it a more familiar to the web in a way. Um, so it's kind of an inter intermediary step, okay. I suppose. Um, and then um, that's, that's kind of the, the cornerstone where everything begins and moving beyond that, uh, enabling web developers to affect the VR space through the web directly, like adjusting you know, your, your JavaScript on your uh, web development there and being able to pull 3D objects from the web into the VR space, spawning them into the VR space with you. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of uh, what we're all about. I think it starts there as an app that people download, they experience, they check out, uh, but eventually it becomes an API and an SDK that is just used, um, that people use to enable their own web pages and, and so on and so forth. So uh, I think that's in, in general, um, the most basic terms, that's what we're looking for. Shared VR spaces, shared content that's on the web, uh, and add a layer on top of the 2D web that you can only do in VR uh, that will enable and, and uh, enable creators and consumers to use. Okay, and what are some of these shared experiences you want people to have? Uh, mm -hmm. You guys mentioned uh, conference spaces, and uh, during the video, we watched part of a movie. Like, what are some of those experiences that people can have? Yeah, it's as diverse as the web itself. Uh, the reason why we brought the 2D web in really is because it's so flexible, and the web itself is, is really open and limitless. Uh, so, I have a feeling a, a lot of people will tell us exactly what, what, they're, what they'll be doing. We're kind of guessing. Um, we're thinking, hey, people are going to want to get together and you know, watch MLB baseball. Are they going to get together and watch a, a Twitch stream in a, a room that's themed for that particular game, for example? Um, or, you know, Netflix or Hulu or, or something of that nature might have a virtual LAN party, <laughs> what we're calling, where basically everyone has their own personal display. They're playing a web game that's, that's networked between everyone else and they're all in the same spot, you know hurling insults back and forth in <laughs> VR. Um, so that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg there. Uh, a lot of people, a whole lot of people have mentioned, you know, I want a, you know, in, infinite desktop. I want to be able to spawn as many browsers as I can. You know, I want eight browsers and I, you know, maximize my data visualization absorbance. I just want to see everything, right? right? right. Um, and so we're trying to enable all those use cases. Uh, where you know a person can do all of those things and then and more. I mean, there's so many. You know, uh, we're always discovering stuff that looks cool in alt space um, as a web page because of their transparency in HTML5, or uh, because it kind of looks 3D-ish, and or the way you interact with the website. There's just all kinds of cool websites that work so much better when they're kind of a virtual display. In, in VR. How will people get together? What is the, the mechanism for people discovering uh, other rooms, other people, making friends, uh, all of that kind of thing in the shared space? Yeah, that's a great question. That's something that we're still in prototype stage on. Okay. Uh, to get to a point where you know you can easily discover something that's really cool or something that you're really interested in. Uh, at this point, the loose model is that we want to have a person be able to make their alt space, customize it, uh, that beaming functionality that we showed where you can send what you're looking at to a public display in the space. We want to extrapolate that to maybe you have a bunch of picture frames or you know, other things in your space and you send GIFs over to them and cinemagraphs and stuff, totally customize your space with web content, okay. which is real cool. And then at that point, um, we want to have a really intuitive, easy to browse interface for discovering other people you're interested in. Uh, we'd like to have events. Um, so, hey, we're going to have this alt space cool thing happening. Come on down. You'll know, have a huge space where we'll have a, you know, maybe 100 people at once or something. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's still some, some details that haven't been worked out exactly how we'll go about that. But um, yeah, we want to make sure that's easy and intuitive. Uh, and as far as the UI and UX, that's a big concern for us. So that's why it's kind of 
taking so much time. Yeah. Uh, what's been the reaction since the 11th, since the video was published and since you guys sort of uh, came out of semi stealth? Yeah, it's been very, very positive. Um, overall, like, you know, in our community that we've released to, uh, as far as like the subreddit and uh, the um, the video that was put on YouTube that we have. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone's very excited. They're like, yes, this looks good. This looks polished. Uh, looks like something I want to get my hands on. Definitely want to try it. Uh, so that's been all encouraging. Uh, so we're excited to get that feedback from the core community and make sure that um, you know we're we know that that's our beginning audience. Uh, we ultimately do want to be very accessible, but we know that hey. You know, there's going to be some hardcore early adopters, and we want to make sure we stay connected with the community and uh, that we're providing what you'd like to do. Um, and then on the on the other side, like outside of the overall VR community, it has been very positive as well. People are the ones that see the video are like, "Oh, great presentation! That sounds very exciting!" Uh, and then immediately people start brainstorming about you know how this can apply to their business model or what they'd like to do with it. Uh, so we've we've already started several conversations on a lot of stuff, which is very exciting, yeah. um, but uh, we'll be able to talk about some more things soon. But uh, yeah, it's been cool. All right, that goes into my next question. Uh, when can I have it? Oh man, that's a great question. <laughs> um, we are targeting within the, the next two months uh, to have something rolled out. Uh, it'll probably be exclusive and limited. Um, we're you know starting with the VR community mostly, uh, so we're going to uh, try to get that out there and available and um, you can sign up on altvr.com, go to our website, uh, sign up on our mailing list for beta uh, info and updates, and we'll get on that. I, I think part of the reason why we're doing a kind of a closed beta, slow rollout, is because it's, it's networking. We want to make sure things are stable, uh, that you know, the, you know, when, how many servers are we looking at, what's the scalability, does the VoIP break, how stable does it stay. I mean, there's a lot of factors we want to make sure that are all you know, in line and working and stable. Uh, that really uh, is rough when there's frames drop in VR, when you're kicked off the server in VR, uh, handling that in a thoughtful way uh, and not just making it charring. I mean, with a, uh, some other online experiences, you have some leeway there. You can drop a frame here or there, not a big deal, but in VR, um, a much higher level of, of quality is needed. So what I see is uh, when my mouse is on the floor, it's a green dot. When I put it up on the wall, it's a white dot. Mm -hmm. um, and when it's a green dot, uh, what does the green dot mean? Bruce? So that means that you are able to teleport somewhere. So if you were to hold down your uh, left click, the regular click there, uh, means that you're going to be able to teleport to a, like a flat surface or a surface relatively flat. Okay. That around. And I see a, a basically an avatar type image of where I would end up. Mm -hmm. A preview. And a preview. you let that go and phew, you will be there. Okay. Is that the, um, the best way to, to turn my body? Uh, to turn your body, uh, it's actually uh, the horizontal scroll on the mouse. Uh, the mice that we have, you can get the scroll wheel and kind of tilt it to the right or the left. So you can just take the whole scroll wheel and, and like nudge it over. And that'll do like kind of a comfort mode for now. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a new controller I've never seen before. I've never seen a scroll wheel where you can actually maneuver it left and right. Yeah, they have a few mice that have that feature. Uh, it's, it's basically, you know, functionally mouse button three and mouse button four. Uh, but uh, since we got those mice and we can control the demo, we decided, hey, let's go ahead and do that uh, okay. and, and try to get everything on the mouse. That actually works pretty well. That's. That's a pretty comfortable way to navigate. Yeah, we found it was uh, it, it works out. Now if we can only get everyone to get that type of mouse, we'll be set. <laughs> uh, and basically, wherever I can look, wherever my dot turns green, I can sort of teleport to. Exactly. And, and the thing right now, if you're kind of if it's something above you, even though it's flat, you won't be able to exactly teleport there. Right. Um, but uh, so you have to be kind of being able to look across or down at it to be able to teleport to that spot. Okay, so I, I'm using a, a I'm using a combination of uh, the comfort mode turning and teleporting to get around in this world. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, okay, I, so I do get used to the teleporting around pretty quickly. It's it's pretty quick to to navigate the space. Certainly easier than than having to walk forward. 
Okay, looks nice. Okay. Uh, so I am in uh, the office. Yes. Okay. So this is a space kind of uh, intentionally designed for a single user to be in there, just kind of, you know, chill out, enjoy the view, and then bring up their personal displays and maybe you know do whatever they would like to do. Uh, so to bring up your personal display is a right click. Uh, it should have an action bar that gives you some choices there. Right, so I'm seeing a little bar on the left hand side that says Wednesday 3.55 p.m. and mm -hmm. there's an orange uh, dot next to that? Uh, that represents your avatar and what color he or she is. Okay. Um, right now we have rob robots of different colors. You can click on that and get kind of a placeholder of uh, you know, different like profile information. Um, okay, so it pops up, cymatic. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, I have 70 karma, which is always good. Oh yeah. I have a lot of friends in this virtual world, so I've, I see a pop-up and it's it's a translucent pop-up. Looks really nice, actually. Yeah, we found that transparency. Uh, it not only looks very nice and very polished, but it also keeps you from feeling cut off from the environment. Um, so you have this big window that's popping up in front of you. And you want to feel connected to what's going on, again, in a social type of atmosphere. If other people are running around the space, you want to be able to use your displays and still get a sense of what's going on um, around you. And I'm getting audio feedback when I hover over something that I can action on. Yes. So when I, when I put my mouse over close, I get a little, I get a little notice. Same mm -hmm. with, uh, I have 127 friends. I suppose that would take me to my friends list. Mm -hmm. uh, 13 items. Items would be to-dos and whatnot and 74 favorites. Okay. Yeah, so again, placeholder stuff, but kind of where we're looking at going with that, kind of your profile and, and what you can do and uh, getting to that discover and, and navigation, uh, kind of this is kind of the early stages of what that might look like. Okay, yeah, it's nice. Looks really sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah, right click on the um, screen mm -hmm. and then uh, I, I get my bar here, yeah. and then if I want to launch something, there's a little world icon, global mm -hmm. icon, and would that be it? That'll bring up your browsers. Okay. Uh, so it'll have uh, three of them at this point. Right now these browsers are static, uh, and they're just kind of uh, you know, surrounding you. That's our home page, kind of translucent, gives a lot of little things to click on there. Um, and then I can have three. So we want to put something totally different up on that one. Good. Some cartoon Network action. <laughs> it's pretty zippy too. Yeah. And then with one click, I can make it all go away. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any any other uh, activities in the office? Uh, at the current time, uh, no. It's just kind of uh, static right now. Okay. Um, so it's uh, you know pulling up the browser, you can play around with different things, do different things. Um, and uh, it's kind of minimalist intentionally. Uh, that way you eventually want to get users to the point where they're customizing some of these things themselves. Uh, like the pictures on the wall would ultimately be displays that you can beam stuff to and customize uh, with your own touch on, uh, on, your, on your space. Okay, it's a very comfortable space. Like, it's, it's a very nice looking area. You guys did a good job here. Thank you. Down to the big screen. Mm -hmm. And how do I how do I interact with the big screen first? To interact with the big screen, uh, you actually have to open your personal displays first and decide what you want to send to the big screen. Um, so if you go to your personal displays, open up the browser, and uh, if you click on home, there, there we go, and then say go to YouTube. And we load up a, a video. If you select a, a video, and it could be any, any video just off the front page there. Okay. Um, I mean, it's playing an ad, and we want to skip the ad first. <laughs> and it's uh, you start the video. Once that video starts playing, you can press the beam button. It's uh, right next to the URL bar down there, um, to the right of home. This one? Uh huh. Can you see? That's the one. I'm looking right at it. There you go. And that'll automatically full screen that YouTube video and I see uh, and uh, spit it over to the the public display where everyone can see what's going on.
Until the audio fades out, the further I get from the screen also. That is correct. Yeah, we have volume attenuation, so the closer you are to the screen, uh, the louder it will get. So this is a big social space. We want to be able to have people be up on the balcony or in the office and be able to carry a conversation, um, even while some other people are down here watching a movie on the big screen. And how many people have you had in the same space so far? So far, uh, we've got to about eight people uh, at the same time, and it ran butter smooth. Uh, so that's part of the reason why we'll be doing the beta, kind of push that and, and test those limits uh, and for scalability. And if I hold down the middle button, it actually starts to walk forward. That's correct, and it'll walk wherever you look. And it walks wherever I look, right? Okay. Uh, these other uh, icons on my, what do you call this, Bruce? The uh, action ones? bar. Action yeah. bar. We're going to the action bar for the time being. Okay. Um, on the far right, that's just kind of a, a list uh, showing you everyone that's in the room with you at the current time. Okay. Which you are uh, all by yourself there. Uh, and then the uh, one right there that will teleport you to our other space that we have uh, constructed, right. the tea garden. It's like someone already beamed something beforehand, something's playing there. <laughs> this is also a space we want to have plenty of, uh, of places where different types of activities can happen. Uh, so we have like the big screen outside, there's like a, uh, if you go around there's some stairs to go up uh, where you can experience some different things. We have a little, uh, uh, I think you're right there in the rock garden right there. So uh, we want to have some functionality, kind of draw some shapes there, it could be nice and relaxing. <laughs> nice, uh, there's a room here. There we go. Uh, so that would be a pretty cool, kind of a more relaxing environment, meditative.